Oh my goodness. What is happening? Y'all, stay safe. What's up, family, friends? How are y'all doing? We are about to do a store walkthrough at a Walmart marketplace. Um, those are the smaller locations of Walmart. So I wanna see what this particular one is looking like. I hardly ever come here. I've been here twice since we moved here and it's, we've been here since 2021 um, in this part of North Carolina, which is the mountains. Um, every time I pass by it though, the it's very crowded it's the only store over here it doesn't have like a lot of um grocery stores around it not even dollar tree around it you have to drive at least four more miles maybe five to get to a dollar tree and normally you find a walmart you'll find a dollar tree so we're gonna go in and see what the shelves are looking like how the prices are because i'm noticing no matter where you are where you live Prices are different. You could be five miles away from another Walmart or another store that you're in and their prices are totally different. So fam, just in, a big lot store is closing down. This one is 40 miles outside of Washington, D.C. in Leesburg, Virginia. So they're losing their big lots location. They have sales going on right now. The sales are 10% to 20% on the mattresses. Um, they didn't say if there were any store-wide sales, probably because they have not set a date, but in a matter of weeks, that store location will be shutting down. And I just want to bring you that small bit of information within this um, store walkthrough that I'm doing right now. So that's what I'm looking at, the prices, the shelves, um, we're also going to see how many self-checkouts they have, how many cashiers they have in here, because that's been a big issue with a lot of people. So let's go in and take a quick look. Before we do, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel, become a part of our YouTube family here where I call you my cousins. You are my distant cousins and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you if you are returning. I appreciate you coming back and getting the news that you can use, getting the store walkthroughs and coming soon, some gardening. So I'm looking forward to all of those things. So let's go into the store and don't forget to share the videos out and definitely leave comments. And did I say, like it up? Okay, thank you, I appreciate y'all. So y'all, I'm sorry, I look so rough today, but I don't know about y'all, my allergies have been truly acting up today. Um, so let's go into it. It's like they gave it a paint job. So my daughter pointed this out to me one day. She said, I think all of the Walmart neighborhood markets are green and then the super centers are in blue. I never paid any attention to this. So to get some corn out here. Nice. I love some good fresh corn. They got it for 50 cent. What's 73 cent? Cabbage is 68 cent. What's 87 cent? Prices are down, but so is the size of the food. We got a lot of markdowns in here. They got some tomatoes over here. Was a dollar ninety-eight. Now a dollar seventy-eight. Limes, 25 cents each, was 38 cent. Avocado, 74 cent each, was 94 cents. Lemons, 50 cent each, was 58 cent. And I knew when I saw those pineapples the other day that they had gone down in price because they were 2.38, now they're $1.98, kind of competing with the Aldi with the pineapples. But the size don't look that bad. glad they're not playing any music so we have drinks over here just some gaps right here with the tea Let's see how much the orange juice is Tropicana is 664 and 398 for the simply orange 
Walmart brand is $7.48 for the gallon. They got Sunny D right here for $3.38. So kids are out for spring break and parents are in here shopping because some kids are probably about to eat them out of house and home. They look very stocked on their hot dogs and also their deli meats. Um, prices vary depending on the brand, depending on the size of it. Deli meats look very stocked in here. But let's make sure it's not front facing. Oh, look at that. Pull that one out and there's nothing there. Let's see. That one's got some. The rest of them. Okay, just that one area. And then got some rollbacks here going on with the chicken fajitas. $2.98 a bag. It's not a big bag, but this is the family size for $5.98. And then this is the smaller bag here for $2.98. Let's go and see what the water owl looks like. Let's see, they got some coolers over here ready for the summer or <laughs> in the event. Um, and these are pretty reasonable. $24 right here for this igloo. It's pretty reasonable price. I'm trying to get my finger in there without taking my finger off. Okay. This is what the water is looking like. Oh, I hurt my finger. Anyway, y'all. Suck it up, Tommy. Okay, so the water looks pretty good in here. I think it's 338. Uh, 364 364 for the 24 pack of water here I don't see a price for the 40 unless that 364 is for the 40 I got the gallons up there drinks look very well stocked So the drinks are looking very well stocked. They even have rollbacks on the V8 Splash in the different flavors. They're very well stocked on the Gatorade drinks all the way up to the top. Power 8. These right here are 148. I remember when they used to be a dollar though, but that's still not bad, I guess. And see, when I come into smaller stores, I can actually go down every lane because it doesn't take me that long in the store. If I do that in the super center, I will be there for hours. So, y'all be looking at a video for that's probably 30 minutes long that I've been in this store for over an hour. But the snack aisle looks really good. Got a few gaps right here with the cheaper um, chips and stuff more snacks for your kids on spring break or yourself and then we have canned fruit over here they have pineapple slices for $1.97 um, that seems to be the price for the, no matter the brand they're $1.97 except for these down here these are $1.28 great value brand peaches are 244 for this size right here and then 348 for this size but very well socked up so we have over here our tortillas our whole grain breads and just bread in general. 
normally you don't see this right here as stocked because it is the cheaper bread a dollar 42 normally that's the first one to go we do have a lot of gaps when it comes to the hot dog buns and the hamburger buns but that is to be expected like i said it is spring break here the milk in here has some gaps but for the most part it looks pretty good 278 for a gallon 167 for a half a gallon. Creamers around 428 and 397. Philadelphia cream cheeses, the generic brand is 186. And then the Philadelphia is 298. Eggs are over here. 60 count eggs are $9.98. The organic browns are $5.18 and $4.78. Up top, we have 18 large white eggs for $4.36. Eggs in the carton are $5.12. And just the whites are $3.98. Okay, so now we're going to go down this aisle. We have our oils over here. You always want to have fats on your shelves. And good fats at that but the cheapest olive oil i see in here is this small one right here for 4.48 and i'm trying to see the ounces but i can't see it and then you have this one down here for 6.44 used to be four dollars and then you have your seasonings that you always want to keep on hand because nobody want bland food. They just don't want it. Look at this. This is I've never seen this before. Killer hogs. Vegetable oils, $8.97. That's for a gallon. And then the canola is $10.24. And I know a lot of uh, the prices I am repeating those when I do these different store walkthroughs but that is because the prices change and vary in certain areas and today is that price if I come back tomorrow or maybe the day after it may be lower or it may be higher um, here goes some seasoning packets here oh, for your slow cooker nice they got ranch chicken Hawaiian chicken Sesame bowl, black and chicken bowl, zesty lime. Nice. I didn't know Kinder's had these seasoning packets right here. For a dollar sixty-eight. Reasonably priced. So next we have the sugars, powdered sugar. 312 generic 234 I've shown you you can make your own powdered sugar just buy a bunch of regular white sugar and put it in your blender on high and you'll make your powdered sugar and that could save you money that way if you were looking for another way to do it um, just look for that video in my playlist and then you can also make brown sugar light or dark well, dark or light. <laughs> this one is 312. So if you want to save yourself 312, you can always buy the bags of white sugar, get you a bottle of molasses, and then the more molasses you pour in, the darker your sugar will be. So if you don't pour that much, you'll end up with light sugar. Just ways that you can try to save a penny here or there or a dollar or two here or there. And if you're not a baker, you, you should still purchase you like some cornstarch because you can use the cornstarch to thicken your gravies. Um, you can use yeast to actually bake your own breads and rolls. Um, it's not complicated to do it. And hey, you never know. If that bread run out in the store, at least you got your ingredients <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. At least you got your ingredients at your house. So, when my son used to play football, 
I would get like these little small bottles about that big, like shot bottles of the pickle juice to keep him, prevent him from cramping up or if he cramps to lessen the pain of it. I didn't know they sell the whole big thing now. How awesome is that for $9.98? So they have canned vegetables in here and they look pretty well stocked up. They're not double stocked in certain areas like you'll see an area that doesn't have anything here and then you'll see an area that maybe does have the double you know stacking of it but that's not bad that looks pretty good and 64 cent for the generic green beans and peas 82 cent for the black beans navy beans and red beans you have your beanie weenies then you have your regular pork and beans and baked beans as well So this is a debate that we had like a long time ago, many years ago. Do you prefer Van Camp's pork and beans or the showboat pork and beans? Let me know in the comments. We're pretty stocked on rice. The jasmine rice is $16.97 down here. Mahatma jasmine is $23.98. The water made is eighteen ninety-seven. Great value Walmart brand is eleven fourteen. Uh, yesterday when I did the store walkthrough in the super center Walmart, I picked up a can of salmon because I haven't found any in Sam's Club. Usually they will sell like the four pack or something like that. And you get a little bit cheaper than buying one here or there because one can is four dollars okay um but they only had like a few cans in here they have a good bit more but it's come down a little bit in price so that's a plus then you got your canned chili pasta sauces don't look that bad it's a little bit of front facing right here as you can see but not everywhere Let's see what the noodles look like over here okay they're good they're good and stocked up over here the penne is a little short but other than that no it's looking pretty good so that pickle juice i had showed y'all this is what I was talking about. I used to get my son these little things right here and you find them of course in the pickle aisle. But this is good to have around the house if you're outside doing yard work and stuff like that. And maybe want to take a little, you don't have to drink the whole thing, take a little shot of that before you go out. Um, just to, so you don't cramp up if you're outside gardening or whatever it is you're gonna be doing. Or just drink you a little bit of pickle juice out your jar. So, so far, I see that they have one cashier and the rest is self-checkout. I didn't count how many they had self-checkout, but definitely more than five. And they only have one cashier that I see so far. I'll show you when I get back to the front. So, the coffee section is looking like this. It's making me want some coffee just to smell it. Whatever cereal that is, they have sold out of those. <laughs> so they have the instant grits, the ones with the different flavors. They're like three twenty-eight. Then you have your quick grits for two eighteen. Um, the one they have for 208 right here is all gone and you have your oats of course the Quaker is going to cost more than the generic version over there the Quaker is 524 the generic is 248 so I had to go back because I just remembered I need some milk okay 
good. Okay. Okay, so let's do the meats now. Give you a shot of the full thing. And then they have this Angus steak burger patties right here are $19.76. This small pack of meat here, ground beef, $4.88. This one is a 4.5 for $18.44. The five pound, they don't have anything bigger than that in here, is $16.58. The three pound is $11.88. And then the one pound, I don't see the price for the one pound. I think it's, well, this one up here is $4.47, so I'm not sure about this one. They have a roll back on, I'm guessing the wings. They have a roll back on the legs as well. There's no roll back over here on these chicken breasts up top. They're three ninety eight a pound. But these over here, the boneless skinless chicken breast has a roll back. And then this is your ground turkey over here. Ooh, they got turkey wings in here. I would love some turkey wings, but they $3.96 a pound. Um, I mean, my family kind of eat it, but I'm really the only one that eats turkey wings like that. Other than my son, and he's not here, he's in school. So we're almost done. We have the baby section over here. Diapers are expensive. Okay, they are expensive. Oh, forgot to show you this little section over here. They like they just put random stuff in here because nothing is cohesive. They got pizza, uh, popcorn chicken on the other side, cheese sticks on the other side, and over here you got pretzel dogs for nine ninety eight. Then you got some. Um, little ice cream things here, Tampico's, which ain't bad, 137. I'm gonna get one of these, 137. Um, then you got, I mean, just like they just threw stuff in here because they had nothing to put in here, honestly. So this is 107. They got some pies for 6.97. They got some Jenny O's that are marked down. Let me see. 29 42 well I guess they're all marked down to 29 because some of them don't have the sticker on them so just if you get these be careful when you ring them up make sure they are what they're supposed to be original price $43 or $42 marked down to $29 frozen fruits over here you can get blueberries for $8.24, strawberries for $8.76, or the smaller bags for um, cheaper. <laughs> then you got the mixed berries over here as well, and the blackberries. You have your frozen broccoli, spinach, all for like a dollar and some change. So that's pretty good. So if you're not going to grow your food, you can get this and freeze it or dehydrate it and rehydrate it when you're ready for it they're pretty stocked over here with their corn and stuff and their vegetables they even have um, pepper and onion blend for two dollars and 58 cents that's pretty good they even have a broccoli stir fry all you got to do is add your meat if you want meat or just eat it as is for two dollars and 54 cents i think that's pretty good so rest of the diapers are over here baby owl looks pretty good let's see what the baby food is looking like and they have their 
fake meat over here, impossible meat, meatballs, burgers, pasta, chicken nuggets, etc. All expensive, of course. So they had, what is this? Oh, okay, this is impossible too. Beef made from plants. So if you wanna get off the beef, you want to get off the chicken you can go plant-based these actually look pretty good and these are good for you the um, whole grain ones here but that looks really good so this is the baby food i know i'm all over the place but so is this owl this owl is all over the place that's why i am all over the place um got a lot of gaps up in here as you can see me back out a little bit so you can see what it's looking like okay so they have one cashier and she's yelling out now that she's about to close her line because she got to go to lunch and there's nobody there to relieve her and then all of this over here is self-checkout and on down and there is no other cashier. And she's like, I gotta go to lunch. So I'm closing down my register. So of course your girl started recording. I didn't get the whole conversation recorded, but that is what the, she was saying on there. Anywho, let's get back to the prices and what's in the store. So, pizza rolls over here i expect for this stuff to be a lot less in there considering it's spring break time but hot pockets are expensive you can get five for 6.97 you can get 12 for 14.24 yeah pizza i'm going to show you what it all looks like i'm not gonna give the price for every pizza that's out here but pizza is running anywhere from 7.68 to 10.57. I don't see any higher than 10.57. Well, there's an 11.94, but that's like a specialty pizza, gluten-free. So I've got to rush the rest of it i'm done with the food section over here except for the dog food so we're gonna look and see what they have over here dog treats dog food looks pretty stocked up so i was looking over here at these collars and it said a dollar and thirty cent and i was like you gotta be kidding me so i scanned it on the walmart app thing and it's a dollar and thirty cents cleaning supplies over here Lysol, 1347, wow. Some gaps right here. More cleaning supplies. Toilet paper out looks pretty good. Hair supplies look pretty good. Of course, they got some things locked up, razors and stuff. 50% off some Easter items.
area. So guys, let me know what's happening in your area. Where you are, what state you're in. Um, are you seeing your prices raised? Are you seeing them lower? Because we saw a lot of prices in here have dropped down. That is truly a blessing. Hopefully it will help families out. The meat, however, even though it's dropped down some, it is still kind of high. Um, but it is what it is. We have to eat. We have to live. So see y'all in the next video. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. So I'm going to the self-checkout. Lady finally closed her out. And as you can see, when I turn around, I can show you this whole area is nothing but self-checkout. First open. So I think um, the funniest thing I've heard, and it, you see the cloud, right? It's about to start raining again. One lady told the other lady as she was leaving, she said, Well, I just got off from work, just clocked out. I mean, I feel like I've been working, checking myself out. So the complaints are still there, Walmart. <laughs> and um, your workers are complaining too because they're working the cash register and they're not being relieved because there's no one to relieve them. Look at that cloud. Ooh, ooh. I pray for everybody who going through these storms. Stay safe, keep prepped. Uh, heed the warnings because that cloud could easily turn into something really bad.